Hi children, welcome to Narayana online classes. Let us go with assignment of 9th class physical science. Topic is refraction of light. Let's go with questions. A denser medium of refractive index 1.5 as a concave surface of radius of curvature 2 cm with respect to A. An object is situated in the denser media at a distance of 9 cm from the pole. Locate the image due to refraction in A. Refraction in A. So, I'm taking this refraction base. Okay, this is the principal axis. This is the pole. Okay. So, this is the denser media. The light ray is traveled from denser media to rarer medium. Okay. So, here it is the first of all refractive index here we write okay refractive index uh, initial is a class 1.5 here is the refractive index a1 why because the incident ray is travel the light ray is travel from denser media to rarer medium okay an object is situated in the denser media at a distance of 9 so this is the object Objective distance is 9 cm from pole. Okay, so 9 cm from pole. So here we can take the focus, here we can take the curvature. So the light ray is fall on the surface. Okay, here we can observe. Here we can observe. So now we are getting what we take. Uh, distance locate the image due to the refraction in the air we can find out here. So that's why I am taking here first of all surface the formula for spherical refracting surface refracting surface mu2 by v minus mu1 by u equal to mu2 minus mu1 by r ok so first of all denser media so mu1 is equal to 1.5 mu2 equal to rarer media 1 and uh, radius of curvature is 12 cm and uh, objective distance u equal to minus 9 cm what about the v what about the v we are discussing Okay, so first of all, this value is here 1 by v minus 1.5 by minus 9 equal to 1 minus 1.5 by 2. Understood the point on all of you? Is that clear? Next, 1 by v plus this can write to 3 by 2 into 9 minus 0.5 by the 1 by v plus 1 by 6 equal to minus 1 by 24. 0.5 can write 1 by 2, 12 into 2, 24. So therefore, 1 by v equal to minus 1 by 24 minus 1 by 6. 1 by v is equal to 24 is NCM or 24 into 6. 24 into 6, right? Or 24 to 6, 24. We are writing here simply 4, 144. Okay, 12, 6, yeah. So minus 6, minus 24. So minus 30 by 144. So 1 by v equal to minus 30 by 144. Okay, so finally we are getting here uh, v is equal to minus 4.8 centimeter. So negative sign indication. So we are getting the virtual image, we are getting the virtual image at a point of 4.8 cm. Let's go with question, next question. The human eye can be regarded as a single spherical refractive surface of curvature of cavea 7.8 mm. If a parallel beam of light comes to focus at 3.075 cm behind the refractive surface. The refractive index of the eye is so. First of all, I am taking the 
refracting surface. This is our refracting surfaces. So this is our principal axis. Parallel rays fall on cornea. Okay. So these are meet at single point. Can okay. meet at a single point? It is a parallel beam. So u is equal to minus infinity. Now v is equal to 3.075 centimeter. Okay. okay. So radius of curvature. So r equal to r equal to 7.8 mm. Okay, these are there given. It is the mu one is equal to one in A. Here mu two equal to one point five glass. Okay, refract lens. So that's why we are applying the values. Okay, we are applying the values here. Uh, generally, you don't know about this value, so that's why I am writing first of all you can find out this one. Okay, mu equal to how much? So formula for refracting surface mu2 by v minus mu1 by u equal to mu2 minus mu1 by r so mu1 is a media 1 mu2 you can find out that's why you write mu and u is the minus infinity it is the parallel beam of light v is equal to uh, 3.075 centimeter. Okay, 3.075 centimeter. And uh, R equal to 7.8 millimeter. 7.8 millimeter. So this one is converted to 30.75 mm. Okay, now these all values substitute in this area. So mu by 30.75 minus. 1 by minus infinity equal to mu minus 1 by 7.8. Okay, 1 by infinity 0. So mu by 30.75 equal to mu minus 1 by 7.8. Cross multiply this. Okay, 7.8 mu equal to 30.75 of mu minus 1. Okay. So therefore 7.8 mu equal to 30.75 mu minus 30.75. Okay. So now I am writing 30.75 mu minus 7.8 mu equal to 30.75. Okay. Is that clear everyone up to here? So now we are getting this one. 22.95 mu equal to 30.75 mu equal to 30.75 by 22.95 okay calculation and uh, finally we are getting mu equal to 1.339 so therefore mu equal to 1.34 now refractive index of i is equal to 1.34 Next, go with another question. A glass sphere of radius 20 cm as small air bubble 4 cm below its center. Refractive index of glass 1.5. The sphere is viewed from outside and along vertical line through the bubble. The apparent depth of the bubble below the surface of the sphere is in cm. So, again, you know about formula for spherical refracting surface. First of all, I am making the glass sphere with the glass sphere at center. Okay. Now here it is I. Okay, this is the I center below the center objective this is a 4 centimeter so this is a radius is 20 centimeter okay radius is 4 centimeter so now <coughs> ray is falling okay So this is the inside ray. So this 
So, that can draw this simply. Now we have under image. So, first of all, formula mu2 by b minus mu1 by u equal to mu2 minus mu1 by r. So, mu1 is mu1 is here uh, <coughs> 1.5 glass, mu2 is a and uh, radius is 20 centimeter and uh, u is minus 24 centimeter by 20 plus 4, 24 centimeter. Now we want v1. So, 1 by v minus 1 by 1.5 by minus 24 equal to 1 minus 1.5 by 20. And 20. So, here is the radius also inside that is where minus and taking minus. So, 1 by v plus 1.5 by 24 equal to uh, minus 0.5 by minus 20. Point point cancel. So, 5 by 200. 1 by 40. Okay. So, 1 by v equal to 1 by 40 minus 1.5 by 24. Okay. Now, we can write here simply 1 by 40 minus 3 by 48. So, finally, 1 by v equal to 1 by v equal to, uh, we are getting here 316 here, minus 3 by 80. So, v is equal to minus 80 by 3. 80 by 3. Finally, we are getting v mod v equal to 26.67 centimeter. 26.67 centimeter image we are getting.